Hey, my name is Leslie Lyles, and today I'm going to be talking about mental health. I feel like for decades, America has struggled with mental health. It's something that nobody really wants to address. Um, but when we look at the effects that it has on our society, it's undeniable that we have to raise awareness about it. Alabama currently ranks 50th in access to mental health treatment. And some counties don't even have a registered psychiatrist that people can go to for help. And when we look at this and we take into consideration the decrease of hospitals, maybe people don't live close enough to them, they're in a rural area, they can't afford to go to the doctor, and um, even the stigmatism that surrounds mental health is so detrimental to our pediatric population as well as our adult population. Um, but many kids who need mental health um, treatment do not get it. A lot of times they'll go to the ER and they'll be admitted and they'll just sit in a room for hours to days and they're just waiting for a bed to open up in one of the mental health facilities and they're just sitting there and they're wasting time that they could be getting the help that they need. And then usually even when they get to these mental health hospitals, they're not getting the help that they need and they just circle back through the system. Um, and these kids are our future, and without access to mental health for them, um, mental health is their basis of all their health. If they're not healthy mentally, they're not going to be healthy physically as well. Um, so we must be proactive as student nurses to increase the awareness of pediatric mental health in Alabama as well as in the United States. And so past and current legislature on this topic, one of the most current legislative pieces is... It addresses um, pediatric mental health is HR 7666, Restoring Hope for Mental Health and Wellbeing Act of 2022. Um, this bill is sponsored by Representative Frank Pallone of New Jersey. Um, the bill proposes expanding mental health hospitals that have already been established in America and to help increase their resources and budgets. So instead of worrying about building new hospitals, they want to take care and foster what we already have and make those better. Um, this bill was introduced um, to the House on May 6, 2022 and was passed by the House on June 22nd of 2022. It was then sent to the Senate, read twice, and referred to the Committee on Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions. This bill does have bipartisan support, and it has no companion bills. Another important bill that I want to talk about is actually already been delivered to Governor Kay Ivey here in Alabama, and it is the Alabama Mental Illness Individuals in Need of Care for Mental Illness Bill. This was introduced by Representative Rex Reynolds, who is a Republican, and it has passed both the House and the Senate with bipartisan support. Um, it is Bill ALHB 70, and it was delivered to Governor Kay Ivey on March 29th. And once she signed this bill, what it will do, it will make it easier for individuals to receive psychiatric treatment without having to first prove that they are, like, at great... Um, a threat to themselves or others. So a lot of times people can't get the care that they need without first either harming themselves or posing a threat to somebody else. But this is going to make it a lot easier for individuals who need mental health help to get it before it progresses to that point. Um, I think that both of these bills are absolutely wonderful for mental health. Um, and we do have a long way to go, but these are both two wonderful steps in the right direction. Um, mental health is not just a topic that we take five weeks in in nursing school and we're done with. It's something that we're going to encounter in every specialty in nursing for the rest of our careers and even outside of our careers, just in everyday life. Um, increasing awareness is the first step that we can take to improve the outcomes. The second and most beneficial step that we can take is to be properly educated on this topic and treat psychiatric patients with the same standard of care that we would want to be treated with ourselves. Um, many patients that we treat will either be affected by a mental illness or know somebody that is affected by one. And so the bills that I mentioned above are both wonderful steps in the right direction. And we do have a long way to go and we can be the generation to make a difference.